my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called Hilo Lux and I focus on luxury beauty, fashion, and travel. And today we are doing a handbag unboxing specifically from Fashion File. I get a lot of questions on how I shop on Fashion File, how it works, how things come, if you can trust it. So I will talk a little bit about that, but first we'll get right into the unboxing. Okay, so let's get right into it. So I've already opened this, but this is how it comes. So it comes in a Fashion File box. And when you open it, they have a little envelope, it just has your receipt and all the information, and then just a little thank you card. And this is what it looks like. The little sticker says, used is the new, new. So, when you open it up, you get a Fashion File dust bag. No matter if your bag has its original dust bag, you'll still get your bag in this dust bag. So, let's open it up. Any guesses what I got? Any guesses? Any, anything? This is what I got. So this is a, a medium flap Chanel bag in red and lambskin with gold hardware. And this is been on my bucket list for a very long time. And it's think from 99 or 98. So it is considered vintage. So this is just a standard medium size. Um, it does have a back flap pocket and when you open it up it is a double flap and then it's just stuffed with um, stuffing on the inside and then that is how it looks and yeah so that is pretty much it I really wanted a pop of color for the summer but I also you know I'm a neutral person so I wanted something that um, could be seasonless and I could wear year-round but also would look really pretty in the summer and I actually have this on my wish list for 2019 I'll um, link my blog post that I wrote every year I write a blog post on the luxury items that I want for the year and I make sure I try to stick to that or make wise purchases so this was on there for the start of 2019 and so that's it for the handbag but I'll go into little details about fashion file if you're curious how I shop how I choose things um, how to make sure things are authentic I'll give you some details about that being on the fashion file website um, the best thing to do is to create an account and log in so that way you can like things and kind of save them um, also it's easiest if you know what you're looking for so usually I'll go on there um, and just type in the bags that I have my eye on or that I'm looking for and then you can sort by, I usually sort by price or you can sort by new in. Um, but for me, like I'll type in um, Chanel medium flap and then I can sort by price and do lowest first. And then you can kind of go through there. I don't typically spend more than 2,500 on a bag. Um, so like for a Chanel flap, if you bought this in the store, these are going for around $6,000. And this one was 2,200. Um, and also the great thing about um, fashion files you can also sell bags there so you can take a picture of a bag and if you have an account um, you can upload it they'll give you a quote they'll send you a shipping label so you ship it to them for free and then they will send you the money um, however you choose I have my like bank account info, info in there so they just send it like direct deposit so before I got this bag I did sell um, back to them a Celine my Celine luggage so then they paid me for that and then I bought this um, so I really love that about fashion file they make it super easy and when I'm shopping, the things that I look for, you can, I love their, um, the way they break things down as far as like the wear and tear. So I think this one was very good condition. Like they'll list what the condition is. I think it's excellent. Very good. Um, good. I don't get anything lower than good. So I'm not sure what's after that. But usually I try to stick with excellent or very good. And then they'll list every little nook and cranny, like anything that's wrong with it. And they'll also give you close up pictures. So for this one, I think they listed a little bit of color transfer on the back, but they have really high expectations. Like I can barely see it. It's like literally a little spot right here. Um, and then there was a little bit of corner wear um, here in a, a little, but it's like so minimal. So I think this one was technically very good. Um, but again, like it looks pretty amazing to me. So um, that's usually how I shop. So again, just know what you're looking for. And then if you go in, if you have an account, you can like things and keep an eye on it. They'll um, let you know if that price drops, they'll let you know when it's sold, but then they also will let you know by email when it comes back in stock. So if there's something you're looking for specifically, you can heart some things. Um, also they have layaway. So if you see something like for me, I check fashion file usually every day just to see what's new. Um, and if there's any like deals or anything that's like 
really worth me like putting to the side um so if you see something like I saw this last month and I hadn't sold my bag yet um because I just hadn't got around to it so I actually put this on layaway as soon as I saw it because I already knew I wanted it I already knew it was on my wish list so I put it on hold for I think like four hundred dollars and then you have like two or three months to actually pay it off and then once I sold a couple of bags then I just went ahead and bought this one and got it sent to me so that's everything I know if you have any additional questions about fashion file leave them in the comments and I can we can we can chat further and I can answer anything else that I didn't mention but try it on so you guys can see like how it looks okay guys that is it I know this video was super quick but I did just want to show you guys the new bag that I got before I started wearing it um, if you stuck around this long make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you never miss a video and as always thank you so much for stopping by see ya